at this beautiful view. I'm standing on my front porch. My house is finished. Um, I'm going to build a board house to live in. I don't like brick house, so I build it for my kids. But anyway, I'm going to tell you the story. And I know a lot of people could relate to this. I met so many women in the past years that said they're working themselves. If they work on themselves before they find somebody else, they're celibate, okay? A little bit. I've been through the same thing. I was in a relationship for nine years, a bad relationship. I got out of the relationship and said I was working on myself. So I worked on myself for three years. And then when you work on yourself for three years, stay away from man or woman. You forget the shit that they put you through. That's what working on yourself is. You really forget the shit that they put you through. So you forget it. So I ended up dating somebody else. It was actually worse than the last one because I forget what the red flags were. So it's not good to work on your stuff for such a long time. And a person that is single for two, three years can be very dangerous. They get independent. They use their toys. I don't want nobody. I have myself. That kind of nonsense. So a uh, bad relationship after that, four more years of it. So I take another two and a half years. Work on myself again. No date, no relationship, no sex. Just working on myself. Get out, got a relationship with that guy for um, four months. But this time I was conscious that like, this is the same red flag this man have from the last relationship. So I was able to pick up on him very fast and um, walk away from it. Real quick, I was done. He was a narcissist, um, psycho, controlling, but he covered up with all this niceness. Tomorrow I buy you this, I'll give you that, I'll give you money, I'll give you this. But he covered up with it's a different form of abuse. So I, walk, I run away from it. Believe me, I tell you, this guy, seven months, he texts my phone. Morning, noon, and night. No matter how much I say, leave me alone, leave me alone. I could cuss, I could yell, he still texts my phone. And he do it to her and say, see, you met, I'm, I'm dodge a bullet. You understand that? So me and this guy broke up like in November. I met this other guy in December. I said this time, I'm not working on myself no more. I'm going to jump on a relationship. So I went straight forward in this relationship. Take a chance, 100%. And now I found my Rolls Royce. I'm happily in love, a good relationship, a good man. I love my kids, supportive, embrace me as a strong woman. Just all around a good man. And I did not take two and a half years this time to work on myself. So a lot of these people said I work on myself and celebrate. And somebody good come along. You're like, well, I'm not ready yet. I'm working on myself. And then you wait three years working on yourself and then go pick up another idiot. So you're like, you're working on yourself to go pick up another idiot. So... If somebody come along, give them a chance. Give them a chance. I've worked myself three times and pick up fools. Give them a chance because sometimes um, in a storm, the sun comes out.